All right, so you see this middle parting right here. How do we get rid of it? The first reason why you probably have a mi middle or center parting is just because of your hair being very long and the natural weight of your hair wants to just simply part your hair. So <clears throat> if you're trying to get rid of this and your hair is this long, then it's gonna be a lot easier to do that. But just keep in mind that if it's not gonna you know, fall this way, if you want your hair to come down, the only way to get rid of it is to just bring all your hair forward like this and you're gonna end up looking like that. I mean, it's gonna look kind of ridiculous uh, if you want all your hair in your face this way. But if you wanna brush your hair back and it keeps falling and splitting, then that's a different story. So the only other way to fix it falling flat this way is to have it going back like this with no part, right? So I'm assuming that's kind of what you are looking to style your hair like if you are doing that. So first thing is you're going to need some styling tools like a blow dryer. You're going to need a brush, possibly something like a vent brush and a round brush. Now this is going to take some work because this is what your hair wants to do naturally, right? When your hair wants to do something naturally, it's kind of hard to fight against nature. So you're going to have to put in some work to prevent it from happening. Now I would suggest doing it on probably like damp hair to some degree, you know, especially when you first get out of the shower, your hair's a little more on the damp side and you're able to kind of brush through it like this. So I would dampen the hair a little bit. Let's do that with the water bottle just to get some water on it and make it a little bit easier to work with. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to brush through it just to kind of get that water going. So there we go, right? And when the hair is wet or damp like this, you're able to move the hair around as you can see. I can create a part this way. I can create a part this way. You know, no part would be all back like this. So what do we need to do to get rid of this? First things first is we need to blow the hair in a variety of different directions to stop the hair from parting right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just follow along and watch and then I'll break down what I'm doing, okay? So this was done literally within minutes and I just want you to see what I did here. Now the key to this, <clears throat> if you noticed when I was blow drying this, and let's get a little bit closer here. When I was blow drying this, notice that I was taking this brush. I do sell this brush on my website. It's an anti-static vent brush. The great thing about it is the handle. This is a rubber grip handle. It's not plastic. So you're going to get that really good friction and that grip when you hold it. This is why I have this, I sell this brush. So the next thing is, if you noticed, I was going in with the brush where I was brushing it and then locking it in like this. What that does is it helps create and, and it iron, almost irons in that uh, volume right through here. So it's like if there's a, imagine the center parting being a wrinkle on a shirt and you're taking the like the iron and then the heat from the blow dryer is the iron that's getting rid of that parting. So what I'm doing is I'm manipulating it where I'm actually, you know, taking the blow dryer, you need the nozzle 
And again, I, that's my blow dryer. I sell on my website, shop.thesalonga.com. You need the nozzle to direct the heat right in this area. So now, as you can see, <clears throat> we got rid of that middle parting. And now it's up to you how you want to style it. So I can, oh, I can go over this way with it, right? But if you notice, it's not parted down the middle whatsoever. I can go over this way with it. You know, I can bring it over this way. The fact is, is now we're able to work the hair in a way. Now, what's gonna happen throughout the day, if you've got like really, really thick hair, let's just say that middle parting wants to start to creep back in. You know, it's up to you where you need the right product. Like my product talc may work, my locked hairspray, uh, you know, craft, one of my crafted products, matte paste, something like that. But the minute you continuously run your fingers through it like this, you know, don't be one of those guys where, oh, I want a product that holds my hair all day. It feels like cement, but I want, I want it to be like loose and have some flow to it. Well, that doesn't happen. You know what I mean? Like you need to kind of set it and forget it because the minute you start really working this down, you're just breaking all that hard work down and just softening it. So you need to just let this be, find the product where, you know, you're applying it more towards the ends like this, because this is where this, the parting comes from. The parting doesn't come up from here, it's at the scalp. So you need to actually lock this in here and then you'll be good to go. So a lot of it comes down to technique. It's not the most difficult thing to do. Once you get the hang of, and, and again, I don't want to hear or see the messages or comments. Oh, how do I do this with no heat? How do I do this with no brush? How do I do this like when I wake up? It, it doesn't happen. You have to put work in. If you want, you want to have bigger biceps, you got to work out. You got to do arm curls and stuff. It's, it's the same thing with this. You have to actually put the technique and work in in order to get it where you want it to be. So don't forget, use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20 at shop.theslonga.com. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.